of age. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Let's give him encouragement. Hallelujah. We're going to get that camera rolling. give thanks to God for giving me the strength to go yes. through this program Amen. because without him giving me the strength in his blood to go through this program, Amen. I would not have survived this everything. Amen. So um, when it came to the exercising part, I don't really exercise a lot, but I've done track um, this year. And I really want to give thanks to my dad as well because right. he um, showed me how to do workouts properly and I was able to do it at the fire cadet Amen. and um, I want to also give thanks to him as well for um, showing me how to um, like save up my money and to advance in my money as well. Save it up. Save it up. Because without that I wouldn't be able to save my money. Amen. <laughs> And I want to give thanks to my mom for helping me get into the program. Yeah. And I want to give thanks to Pastor for blessing me with going into the program right. and also encouraged me as well to be in there. And I also want to give thanks to Brother Deshaun for um, encouraging me as well to be in the program. Yeah. And I believe this program is a great program because it's for the youth and it's called Youth to Work and you work in the city for like eight weeks or whatever program you're in. It depends. It's also different programs as well that you can enroll um, a child in if they're 14. And um, it goes all the way to 14 and 18 depending on the program. And um, through the weeks, it was really hard to get through the program because not everybody brought their stuff, so we had to pay dearly by doing push-ups on the ground, sit-ups, one to sevens every day, and we had to just exercise hard. Uh, one thing I really liked doing was the one to sevens and running around the track, because right. I'm doing track as well. Oh, awesome. And um, I, I think I'm going to be doing wrestling this year, because I think I'm stronger. All right. All right. All right. And, um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah. So, the most interesting part was seeing the fire departments mm -hmm. and was also how I was able to go on the ladder and repel off the building. Yeah. And it was yes. really high. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we took a lot of photos together. It was really great because uh, I feel like I have a bond with everybody, like they're my family here because we're only as strong as our weakest link. All right. <laughs> And I believe if you want to join the program, you have to give it your all because um, you have a lot of people that's going to encourage you there, and it's a really good thing. And I told myself if I was to go in this program and learn a lot of amazing things about what it is to be a firefighter, I would want to be a firefighter. Yeah. That is my dream now. Thank you. All right. camera type of person, so it catches me off guard. But, uh, you know, I just thank God, you know, for my church family, you know, the encouraging messages that you all have sent me, you know, the support that you had sent through me, uh, 
I really felt it, you know, and God yes. moved through me right. with that. So I just wanted to say, you know, um, with the testing, no matter how many times you try, if you dedicate it, yes. you can do it. Yes. If you believe in God, you will be through it. blessed for this opportunity, you know, from growing up as a kid, you know, all the things that me and my family struggled with and was going through with, and you know, it's a big inspiration, you know, I never gave up, I stayed persistent, I stayed consistent, and you know, I just thank God for that, because if it wasn't for that motivation, I probably wouldn't be who I was today, and, you know, I just want to thank God for all the father figures that was in my life, my very own father, you know, yeah, great wisdom, you know, everything that you've done for me. Uh, another father figure was Bishop Donald Sorrell. Yeah. Yeah. Great inspiration, you know. He really pushed me on with the schooling and motivation through that. And, you know, uh, Pastor, yeah. I, I thank God for that. You know, he's a great inspiration, too, and a hard worker, very dedicated. And then I'd like to thank God for my mother figure. Yeah. You know, very own mom, Roxanne Lee. You know, always number one supporter. Yes, yes, she is. Thank God for that, you know, because she always pushed me and encouraged me, even when it was times where I felt low. She would tell me, and ain't nothing like a mother's prayer that'll get you through something. Yes. You know, even when you're sick, you know, when she pray, you know you're going to get here. I'd like to thank God for, um, Mother Terrells and Mother Evangelist Thompson. You know, I thank God for all of them, you know, the encouragement. You know, Mother Stevenson, she encouraged a lot too. And you know, it's just a blessing. It's truly been a blessing. It's been a long journey. You know, it's been a hard shit. You know, I thank God for my brother Pearson. You know, he you know pushed me through too, you know, because he had military experience. Yes, so yes. the things that he went through, it really drives me to go through yes. and to push through. You know, I just love the motivation and everything that goes on. Y'all yeah, pray my strength in the world. Amen. 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 Come on, let's stand and give these young men a hand clap. Very inspirational. All of the young people here yes. are proud of them. And we're so glad that I like what they were doing. They were giving acknowledgement. But as you notice, they was acknowledging a whole lot of people out, even outside of their inner circle. It takes a village, amen, to raise a child. We all need help from somebody else. And sometimes we don't have all the answers for our loved ones. But somebody, I was telling Brother Deshaun, he's got the youth doing more than I ever could do. God has used him in a mighty way to get the youth in this church inspired. But at this time, we're going to see a demonstration. I want you to really pay attention to what Deacon Little is going to be, amen, demonstrating here. And also this evening, we have Bible class. He will be our teacher, amen. Let's give God a hand praise for that. We can put you on you on the schedule. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, I had did this uh, demonstration um, earlier, so I'm going to give a rendition of it. Um, this here is Christ. This is us. And this is the world and what the world has to offer. Um, the world, only thing the world has to offer is sin. That's the only thing it has to offer. Man. You know, and what happens when we mix with the world, the world weighs, consumes us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it takes us over and it changes the purity of what we were. Mm -hmm. And this is how we are when we mix with the world and we come to Christ. And when we come to Christ, um, we ask God for forgiveness. We go down in Jesus' name. We um, be baptized and we are filled with his Holy Ghost. Christ now enters into us. Mm -hmm. And the ways of the world goes away when Christ gets into us. It evaporates. And we return back to how we should have been. Yes. How we should have been. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, amen. And, um, so this is what happens. But the beautiful thing is, is that Christ took on the sins of the world. Uh -huh. yes. And you can see in him, 
There's no sin at all. It don't even consume Christ. At all. Because there's no sin in him. So when, when we come to when, when when he took on the sins of the world, even though we might lie sometimes and we might fall sometimes and you know the sin don't have the same effect on us no more than it did when we was once out there and we was consumed with it. So when you when you go in it, it'll it act like it, but once you ask God for forgiveness. And you see how it's just right there and you get it struggle with it a little bit. But as soon as you ask God for forgiveness, it starts to go back to factory. Yes. Because it don't continue to you like it used to consume. You know, it, and no matter how many times you fall, it, 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 it'll take form. But as soon as you ask God for forgiveness and you ask God to restore you, it will start restoring. It will start setting back to what you should have been. You know, and it start evaporating. You know, and that's that's what my presentation was. I just wanted to give that real quick. I didn't want to take up too much time. But sin don't consume you. Just know when you are forgiven, you are forgiven. You don't have to sit here and you know, sometimes we focus more on the problem than the than the solution. Jesus is the solution to your problem. If he forgave you, it's forgiven. Don't be a deep sea guy. Don't go back looking for your sin. Don't sit here and hold on to it. Don't sit here and sit out and wear it like with some type of badge of honor. Let it go and let God be God in your life. And I promise you, you'll come out as pure as water. That's what my sister will do. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm glad I'm forgiven. Even though he might bring accusations. What did you preach on last week? Yes, that was me, but not anymore. Tell your neighbor, that ain't me anymore. That ain't me anymore. Glory. 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 I thought that presentation was powerful. Because it shows once the Holy Ghost resides in you. Yes. Amen. And you allow it to continue to purge and cleanse you. You might fall. But it's able to uh, cover your falls. Amen? Amen? But the key is, go do it and don't sin no more. Amen? Amen. So at this time, we're going to bring the praise team back for one selection. And immediately after that, we will have the word of God brought to us by Evangelist Thompson. We're going to ask the praise team to come forward at this time. Come on, let's, amen, let's give him and curse this praise team as they come one more time and give us one selection. How many know how God has been good to you? And are you thankful for the Lord being good to you? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The song says, Thank you, Lord.
together, give God some praise. Thank you for what he's done for you and what he's going to do, what he already has done. You may not see it, but we're going to say thank you anyway, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for those miracles you're performing. The signs and wonders, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Second Peter, I mean, oh, all righty. Second Timothy, everybody. That's all right. Second Timothy. They say there's no verse four. <laughs> no chapter four. <laughs> amen, amen. Forgive me, forgive me. But that is Second Timothy, chapter four, verse seven. And it reads, I have fought a good fight. Right. I have finished my course. Yes. I have kept the faith. I read that again in your hearing. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. Yes. And I have kept the faith. Yes. Lord, we come before you on today, Lord, giving you honor and giving you praise, thanking you, Father, for another opportunity, oh God, to speak your word, oh God, to your people, oh God. Lord, I ask you, Father, to open up their ears so that they may hear, and their eyes that they may see what the Spirit is saying on today, oh God. Give us strength on this day, oh God. Lord, God, bless those that are sitting in the congregation, oh God. We give honor and we give praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Make the congregation say, Amen. 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 I want to come to you with the title of Hold Fast to Your Faith. Amen. That is, Hold Fast to Your Faith. Amen. This is a, a uh, in Second Peter, this was one of the last things that Paul wrote. And it was right before his wife was taken. And I can imagine Paul sitting there, knowing his end, pretty much. And just thinking about his journey with God. And he began to write and remembering, I have fought a good fight. He has been in battle after battle with the enemy. From the time God chose Paul, he 
had been in battle with this enemy. Yeah. He had tried to destroy Paul. Oh, yeah. He didn't want Paul to go forward. Yeah. He didn't want Paul to, to preach to the Gentiles. Right. He wanted Paul to be stuck. Uh -huh. yes, yes. But he said, I fought a good fight. Yes. I didn't give up. I had faith in God. I trusted Jesus Christ. I believe in the name that I proclaim. And that was the name of Jesus Christ. I fought a good fight. We're living in a day and time that it takes for you to fight a good fight. The enemy is trying to take us all out of here. God is coming soon. He is returning. And the enemy is trying to take the saints of God out. Paul leave a legacy uh -huh. of saying, I fought a good fight. Yes. That means you can fight a good fight. Yes, you, can. you can survive this thing. In spite of what's going on in this world, you can survive this thing. Yes. Then he goes on to say, I stayed the course. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't deterred from anything. Nothing stopped me. Yes. I've been beaten. I've been starved. Right. I've been lied on. Yeah. I've been put in prison, uh -huh. but nothing stopped me. Uh -huh. I kept going. Uh -huh. In spite of what I had to go through, yeah. I kept going. Yes. Yes. I stayed the course. Yeah. God has given every person in here a course, yes, he <laughs> oh, yeah. a way that he wants you to take. Come on, he don't want you to deviate from that way. Yeah. And if you stay on the course, That's right. he's going to guide you. He's going to protect you. Yes. He did with Paul, but Paul had to suffer. Yes, he, did. he knew he had to suffer. Jesus told him, you will not have to suffer. Right. Yes. You made the church, you persecuted the church, so yes. you're going to have to suffer. Yes. We have to deal with some things that we do. Uh -huh. That's just the way it is. Right. But he, like a Deacon Lowell said, He's a forgiving God. Yes, yes. Amen. He said, I stayed the course. Yes. <laughs> Nothing took me out of my course. He was able to sit there and write these words with confidence that I have done what God told me to do. I have finished what he told me to do. I accomplished what he gave to me. And he gives you a way of doing what God tells you to do. He tells you, I've done it. You can do it. Amen. You can do it. He wrote these epistles to the church. Yes. This was to the church. That's right. But it's also a legacy of Paul's life. Uh -huh. He tells you the shipwrecks that he was in. Yes, he he tells you about the snake bite. That they thought that he was surely a dead man. Yes. He tells you how I survived that. Because he had a purpose in God. Yes. He had a course to finish. Amen. He survived everything that the enemy put in his way. He survived. Yes. Yes. He survived. I finished my course. And then he says, I kept the faith. You have to keep the faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yes. That means when you go to him and you ask him for something yes. and you don't apply the faith, it's impossible right. for him to do it. Nothing's going to happen. Yes. Nothing's going to happen. Yes. But when you apply the faith and you truly believe that God is going to do it, yes. Amen. he yes. does it. Yes. He honors it. Yes. He honors it. So when you keep the faith, yeah. that is the way. What is the way? Yeah. That is believing in Jesus Christ, uh -huh. being baptized in his name, yes. receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, yes. and living holy. Yes. Not hope. <laughs> Dash. Yeah. Me. Yeah. I'm just going to keep it real. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. That is what God expects from us. Holiness. And that's what Paul did. He walked holy before the Lord. He was blameless before the Lord. Once he was converted, he was blameless 
before the Lord. He stood even more than the disciples stood. He stood more than the people that portrayed to be godly people. He was more powerful than the Pharisees. Yes, yes. And he was a Pharisee. <laughs> but he was more powerful than them when it came to preaching the word of God. That's the truth. I thought about that. When Paul started out, he was always a Pharisee. He was a preacher. He was a priest. Already. But he was persecuting the church. Because they weren't practicing Judaism, he, 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 he persecuted the church. Because they proclaimed the name of Jesus, he persecuted the church. But God used that. Oh, you a priest? <laughs> and you're already a Jew <laughs> my chosen uh -huh. I'm going to use that yeah. but this time because of what you've done to my church uh -huh. I'm going to send you to the outside, outside. Yeah. the ones around on the outside the ram up Look at and he was more powerful yes, yes. than the ones that was on the inside yeah. thank you Jesus he was much more powerful mm -hmm. than the ones that were on the inside God will give you an assignment. Complete the assignment. Yes. Don't be fearful of your assignment. Yes. Do it the way God gave it to you. Yes. Complete the assignment. Yes. There's a better, better, uh -huh. better place for you. Yes, it is. There's a crown for you. There it is. Uh -huh. When you complete your assignment. Yes. Oh, yes. Paul said, I Finish my course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They threw me in jail. I even had people that walked with me that left me. Yeah, yeah. They left me. Yeah. He wrote about that too. Yeah. But it didn't stop him. Yeah. It didn't stop him. He stayed focused. Yes, and he stayed the course. Yes. Ah, yes. He finished it to the end. Say that now. He was able to write this letter. Uh -huh. And I like to think that he was not sad when he wrote that letter. Oh, no, no. <laughs> he knew where he was going. <laughs> he knew his end. <laughs> I believe he was writing giggling. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that he was a ha he was happy, rejoiceful, yeah, yeah. because he finally came to the end of that journey. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. And he kept the faith. Yes, he can stand before God uh -huh. and say, I kept the yeah. faith. Yes, Lord. I didn't give in to the enemy. Yeah. I didn't let him overtake yeah. me. Yeah. I let them throw me in jail. Yeah. But I did not give up on the faith. Yeah. I kept the faith. I believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. I proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Didn't give up. Oh, yeah. Can't give up. He oh, kept God. the faith. Yes. Hold fast to your faith. It's all Amen. you got left. Amen. Oh, that's it. In this Amen. world today, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's all you got left yeah. that identify you with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Your faith. Yeah. Your believing. Yeah. It's all you got left. Yeah. And in this day and time, you need to have faith. Amen. You need to be able to trust God. Amen. There are some situations that only God can get you out of. Amen. He knows everything and all that you go through. But he loves you. <laughs> he just waiting on you to say, Lord, I got faith. I believe I trust you. I already know it's done. I don't even have to ask. Because you knew before it happened. I already know it's done. Have faith. Have faith. Hold on to it as tight as you can. Have faith. The enemy is going to try to take it out of your hand. But have faith. Trust God. Be like Paul. Fight a good fight. fight I mean, even if you're going down, you still keep swinging. Keep on swinging. The 
God. He don't have no power over you. If you really understood the devil, he has no power. Yes, preach. No power. You a child of God, he can't make you do nothing. And he don't say, go do this. You know what he said? Oh, you think you might want to. That's what he do. Uh, yeah. uh, Come on. You might. You, you, the you Come see on, that? on with it. See that? Don't, 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 don't you want? Yeah. yeah. That's what he do. He can't give you a commandment. No, he can't. Yeah. Tell him about it. He can't. He can't give you a commandment. He can't. Oh, no, no, no. He can't do it. You get in trouble with God with that one. He ain't stupid. Uh -huh. Come on. He'll give you suggestions. Yes, he He'll put things in your face. In your face? Who ain't that pretty? Yeah, you do it. Oh, ain't that nice? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All you gotta do it. Nope. Nope. That's the power. Nope. Come on, with it. Nope. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Look up. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is Jesus. All I see is Jesus. Yeah. I don't see nothing in front of me but Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. 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 He finished the course. But he kept the faith. He ended that verse. I kept the faith. He weren't able to take this from me. God gave me that assignment. He wasn't able to take it out of my hands. And I trusted in Jesus all the yeah, way. That's right. All, all the way. Completely, yes. The okay. moment those, those things came off of my eyes, those burners came off my eyes, they yeah. fell to the ground. Yeah. My eyes were open. Yeah. And I understood. Yeah. I, understood. Yeah. I have a calling on my life. Have faith. You must have faith. Amen. Hold on to it. 
Hold on to it. Oh, it's yeah. more precious than gold in these yes, days. Yes, yes, Everybody yes. in this earth is searching for healing. Yes. They're searching for uh, tangible things, like I said, oh, furniture, yes. shoes, yes. cars. Come on. Everything getting higher and higher. Hello. Mm -hmm. God is trying to tell you. Come on. You don't need that stuff. Yes. You need me. Yes. You need me. Yes. Not that stuff. Yes. Gonna get any better. If you're waiting on things to turn, it's gonna turn for the worse. And I'm so glad it's turning for the worse. Because it tells me that my redemption draws back, that he's coming back again. That I won't have to be here too much longer. I believe that God is coming soon. He's coming soon. Get yourself together. He's coming soon.
but it's too late. Too late. Hold fast to your faith. That's right. Amen. Don't let it go. Trust God. Trust God. Yes. Believe in Him. He does love you. Yes, He does care for you. He don't want to see you lose. He want to see you win. He want to see you in heaven with Him. God did something, Come on. or somebody did something to you, and you say, Lord, you need to get this. No, I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm saved now. Oh, but you need to get there. Yeah, you need to get there. You come back to church, they're still sitting there. There it is. I pray. Lord, I need you to get there. Next week. They still sit. He said, Lord, why come you didn't get them? He said, because my grace is sufficient. <laughs> they have a right to get it right like you. What you need to pray is mercy. Mercy, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Keep them, Lord. That's what you need to say. Spoken earlier about judgment. No body has the right to judge. Right. And for some reason, yes, yes. when an evangelist comes to town uh -huh. and an evangelist is sent to a church yes. to kind of put some things in order that's, right. that's yes. out of order. Yes. But when an evangelist speaks, not so much judgment, but they kind of bring it out. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. don't bring her back. Don't bring her back.
know, you may be seated. Sometimes, saints, I've tried to tell you in this journey, walking with Christ, Jesus, our God, considers you. And he tells Satan, have you considered, put your name. Sometimes when adversity comes, Paul said, all that will live godly will suffer persecution. Look for persecution if you live in godly. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. It's a part of the fabric of sanctification. You know, some of y'all still being distracted. Y'all phones has got too much power over y'all. I'm looking from the pulpit. Some of y'all was looking at your phone the whole time she was preaching. My God, distracted. I believe the title of tonight is the Distraction. Some of y'all need to get control over that phone in the house of God. Amen, somebody. Let them hear that have an ear what the Spirit is saying to the church. You can hear y'all texting and looking at your phone. Amen. That's a distraction. And I'm the pastor. I'm sitting here looking at all of you. Evangelist preaching our heart out, and you'd have missed the whole message. Because that phone is controlling your mind. That's Satan. Amen, somebody. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Amen. You didn't come here to be playing on no phone. You come here to hear the word. 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 Phone is gonna send y'all to hell. Amen. You better hear me. That phone Amen. gonna send some of y'all to hell. Amen. You come here to get fed on the word. Amen. How can they hear without a preacher? Amen. And how can they preach unless they've been sent? Amen. You can't get it from this piece of garbage. Because it ain't nothing but garbage. Amen. Pay attention when you're in the house of God. Amen. Look at the Some folks try to tell her, coming to the church don't matter. She said, it does matter. Mm -hmm. She said, no, when pastor be teaching, I be hearing. And she said, I take that with me, and that's what helped me keep being strong in the Lord. You know to hear the saints say that.